Imagine a garden where your thoughts are seeds. Just like a gardener, you have the power to nurture these seeds into something beautiful or let them wither away. This garden is your mind. Today, let's discuss transforming it into a sanctuary of success. You all know, my friends, every great achievement in history began with a simple idea. These ideas, like seeds, have the potential to grow into something magnificent. But it all starts with the soil, your mindset. A mindset geared towards success is where ideas sprout, grow, and flourish. How do we create this fertile ground? It begins with belief in yourself, your dreams, and the possibility of achieving them. It's about seeing opportunity in challenges and lessons in setbacks. Each morning, affirm to yourself, Today, I take one more step towards my dreams. As we go through these ideas together, remember this. Getting your mind right for success isn't just about thinking happy thoughts. It's about changing how you see life altogether. It's about making choices that match up with what you want, hanging out with people who lift you up, and most importantly, knowing that you're in charge of your own destiny. So, are you ready to plant the seeds of success in your mind? Let's do this journey together, side by side, and turn our minds into powerful engines of success. Step 1. Starting to think positively is as easy as taking one step at a time. Decide to see the world not just as it is, but as it could be. Picture yourself as a sculptor. Every thought you have shapes your life. The cool thing, you're the one with the tools. You have the power to sculpt your life into something amazing. Think about your usual day. From the moment you wake up to when you go to sleep, every moment is full of choices. How you see these moments, how you handle them, that's where having a positive attitude matters. It's like looking at a glass of water. You can see it as half empty or half full. That choice, that way of looking at it, changes everything. Positive thinking isn't about ignoring life's problems. It's about facing them with the right mindset. When you come across a challenge, you can let it beat you, or you can see it as a chance to get stronger. It's about saying, I might not control what happens, but I do control how I react. That's what a positive mindset is all about. Let's talk about gratitude, which is like giving sunshine to your soul. Instead of wishing for what you lack, it's about appreciating what you have. Start your day by listing three things you're thankful for even if they're as simple as a sunny day or a cup of coffee. This practice sets a positive tone for the day. Additionally, surround yourself with positive influences. Just like a mirror reflects its surroundings, you absorb the energy of those around you. So, choose people who uplift and inspire you, as their positivity will help shape your mindset. Having a positive mindset also means being kind to yourself. The words you say to yourself matter a lot. Instead of criticizing yourself, be compassionate. Replace doubt with belief. When you change how you talk to yourself, you change your life. Remember, developing a positive mindset is a journey, not a destination. It's something you work on every day, like taking care of a garden. Just like a garden needs water and sunlight, your mindset needs nurturing throughout your day. In step two, let's delve into the importance of learning and growth. Learning and growing mean being able to adapt to change. It's about staying open to new ideas and opportunities and not letting change overwhelm us. Just like tending to a growing tree, we need to be patient with our own growth. Every effort we make brings us closer to our goals. Embracing learning and growth is like being a student of life. It means staying curious, open-minded, and resilient. Success isn't a straight path. It's full of twists and turns. So, let's keep moving forward, ready to learn from every experience and embrace every challenge. That's how we become the successful people we want to be. In step three, let's talk about setting goals and picturing success. Setting goals is essential because they provide direction and purpose. They act as signposts, guiding you on the journey of life towards your desired destination. Without goals, you may drift aimlessly. However, with clear goals, you take control of your path, acting as the captain of your ship, steering intentionally towards your goals. Setting effective goals involves more than simply stating a desire for success. 
It requires specificity. Consider it akin to planning a trip. You wouldn't just declare, I'm going somewhere. Instead, you'd meticulously plan your destination, route, and activities. Apply the same approach to goal setting. Ensure your goals are clear, measurable, and attainable. They should ignite your passion and resonate with your deepest aspirations. Visualizing your success is the next step. When you vividly picture achieving your goals, you're using a powerful tool embraced by athletes and achievers worldwide. Visualization primes your mind to seize opportunities and fuels your inner motivation. It's vital to align your actions with your goals, ensuring each step moves you closer to success. Flexibility is key. The path may not be linear, but adaptability ensures progress. Remember, goal setting and visualization are ongoing processes, evolving with your growth. Keep your goals clear, celebrate milestones, and stay committed to your vision with purposeful action and unwavering determination. Success is within reach. In step four, let's delve into building resilience and overcoming adversity. It's about turning challenges into stepping stones for success and growing stronger with each step. With our goals set and visions clear, we're prepared to tackle anything with strength and determination. Resilience and overcoming adversity aren't just words. They're vital life skills that distinguish achievers from dreamers. Resilience acts as armor, shielding and propelling us forward. View it as a journey, not a destination, a process of learning, adapting, and emerging stronger. It all starts with self-belief, the foundation of resilience. Understanding that challenges are a natural part of life is crucial. It's not about if they will come. But when they do, how will you react? Will you let them knock you down, or will you see them as opportunities to grow stronger? Perspective is key here. Viewing challenges as chances to learn changes everything. It turns setbacks into comebacks. Emotional intelligence is vital. Managing your feelings, understanding them, and using them wisely is essential. Though it's easy to feel overwhelmed by emotions like fear or frustration, Recognizing and handling and calmly helps you stay focused. Persistence is another key. It's about pushing forward even when things get tough, driven by your passion and purpose. With a clear vision of your goals, you'll find the strength to keep going. Learning from failure is a big part of resilience. Instead of seeing failure as the end, see it as a chance to learn and grow. Analyze what went wrong, learn from it, and use that knowledge to do better next time. This turns failure into a tool for success. Taking care of your physical and mental health is also crucial for resilience. Regular exercise, eating well, enough sleep, and practices like meditation can really help. A healthy body and mind are your best defenses against tough times. Resilience is also about seeking and giving support. Surround yourself with people who support you, and be there for others too. Sometimes just a few words of encouragement can make a big difference. And don't forget to celebrate your victories, no matter how small. Every time you overcome a challenge, take a moment to pat yourself on the back. This boosts your confidence and reminds you of your strength. In summary, building resilience and overcoming adversity are key steps towards success. They make you stronger and better prepared for whatever life throws your way. As we move on to nurturing relationships and networking, remember that the resilience we've built not only helps us personally but also strengthens our connections with others. Step 5 is all about nurturing relationships and networking. Success isn't just about you. It's about the connections you make. Picture a tree. It stands tall because of its strong roots spreading in all directions. Similarly, our success is rooted in the relationships we build. These connections offer support, wisdom, and opportunities we couldn't achieve alone. Nurturing relationships means more than just making connections. It's about building genuine bonds. It's about investing time to understand and appreciate others, valuing what they bring to your life, and giving back. Start by being empathetic and listening. Truly hear others, understand their viewpoints, and show genuine interest in their lives. This builds trust and respect, the foundation of strong relationships. Networking isn't just about swapping business cards. It's about forming genuine connections. 
It's finding common ground, sharing ideas, and embracing different perspectives. These connections open doors to opportunities and collaborations. Giving back in relationships is vital. Support others without expecting anything in return. From offering advice to making introductions, helping others builds a strong community. Choose your connections wisely. Surround yourself with positive influences who uplift and inspire you. Quality matters more than quantity. Authenticity is key. Be yourself, and you attract those who appreciate your honesty and transparency. Continuously nurturing relationships is vital, much like tending a garden. It involves staying connected, checking in, and being there when needed. Show that you value the bond. Networking and building relationships push you to grow personally. They encourage you to step beyond your comfort zone, meet diverse people, and explore new ideas, enriching both your personal and professional life. Patience is key in networking. Meaningful connections take time to develop, akin to nurturing a seed into a flourishing plant. Over time, these bonds become invaluable assets. While technology aids networking, personal interaction remains unmatched. Social media connects globally, but face-to-face -face encounters forge deeper connections that virtual platforms can't replicate. Let's also emphasize the importance of diversity in our relationships and networks. Engaging with people from different backgrounds, industries, and cultures broadens our worldview. It challenges our assumptions, introduces us to fresh ideas, and sparks creativity. Embracing diversity enriches our relationships, offering a wealth of knowledge and perspectives. As we nurture these relationships, let's maintain balance. Strike a healthy equilibrium between our professional and personal lives. Relationships should enrich our lives, not consume them. Setting boundaries and taking time for ourselves ensure a well-rounded life leading to more fulfilling connections and success. Additionally, remember that relationships thrive on reciprocity. Being generous with our time, knowledge, and resources fosters a cycle of mutual benefit. Success often relies on teamwork, with our support network lifting us higher and offering invaluable guidance and encouragement. In essence, nurturing relationships and networking form the bedrock of a supportive community, fostering learning and growth. Cherish these connections as they guide us through life's twists and turns, offering illumination, guidance, and reminders of our shared humanity. As we conclude our exploration of this vital element, let's move forward with a renewed appreciation for the people in our lives. Let's continue to cultivate these relationships with care, understanding that each person adds a unique color to the canvas of our journey. Hand in hand with those who walk this path with us, Let's step forward together with confidence and gratitude into a future bright with possibility, enriched with the rewards of nurtured relationships and a strong, supportive network. The essence of our journey lies in realizing that success isn't just about personal achievements but also about the impact we have on others and the legacy we leave behind. As we navigate this journey, let's reflect on how our actions shape our lives and whether they align with our deepest values. Let's commit to lifelong learning staying open to new experiences, and embracing growth and opportunity. Gratitude is a powerful companion on this journey, transforming ordinary moments into treasures and challenges into opportunities for appreciation. By living in the present moment and cultivating gratitude, we enhance our resilience and enrich our journey towards success with fulfillment and joy. Ultimately, success is about the depth of our experiences and our appreciation for the journey itself. Let's embrace gratitude and present moment awareness as vital companions, ensuring that our pursuit of success is meaningful, purposeful, and joyful. Through principles like embracing learning and growth, setting clear goals, visualizing success, building resilience, and nurturing relationships, individuals can reshape their thinking and habits to align with their aspirations. By implementing these strategies consistently, individuals can reprogram their minds for success and navigate their journey with confidence and purpose. I'm excited to share with you today's message on how to brainwash yourself to success. Now, you might be thinking, brainwash, that sounds a bit extreme. But trust me, I've been in the personal development industry for over 40 years, and I've seen the power of our thoughts and beliefs in shaping our lives. In today's fast-paced world, 
It's easy to get caught up in negative thoughts and self-doubt. We're bombarded with messages from society, media, and even our own inner critic, telling us what we should be, how we should act, and what success looks like. And if we're not careful, we can easily succumb to these negative influences and limit our own potential. But here's the good news. You are not alone in this struggle. We all have moments of self-doubt and negative thinking. The key is to recognize it and take action to turn things around. And that's exactly what we'll be discussing in this video, five powerful ways to brainwash yourself to success. By listening to this message, you are taking the first step towards rewiring your mind for success. So get ready to take control of your thoughts and beliefs and create a life of abundance and fulfillment. Let's get started, starting with the fifth way to brainwash yourself to success, which is learning from failures and setbacks. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would I want to brainwash myself? Isn't that a bad thing? Well, let me tell you, my friends, that brainwashing can be a powerful tool for success. It's all about reprogramming your mind and your thoughts in a way that will lead you to greatness. And one of the most important aspects of this reprogramming is learning from failures and setbacks. You see, in life, we are bound to face obstacles and challenges. It's inevitable. But what sets successful people apart from the rest is their ability to learn from these failures and turn them into stepping stones towards success. Think about it. Every successful person you know has faced failures and setbacks. But they didn't let those failures define them. Instead, they used them as opportunities to learn, grow, and become better versions of themselves. So, my friends, I urge you to embrace failures and setbacks. Don't shy away from them or let them discourage you. Instead, use them as fuel to propel you towards your goals and dreams. Now, you may be wondering, how exactly can we learn from failures and setbacks? Well, let me share with you a few key points that have helped me in my own journey towards success. First and foremost, it's important to have a positive mindset. You see, failures and setbacks can be tough to handle. They can make us doubt ourselves and our abilities. But it's crucial to maintain a positive attitude and believe that you have the strength and resilience to overcome any obstacle that comes your way. Next, it's essential to take responsibility for your failures. It's easy to blame external factors or other people for our setbacks. But the truth is, we are ultimately responsible for our own success or failure. So instead of playing the blame game, Take ownership of your mistakes and use them as learning opportunities. Another crucial aspect of learning from failures is to reflect on them. Take the time to analyze what went wrong, what you could have done differently, and what you can learn from the experience. This introspection will help you gain valuable insights and prevent you from making the same mistakes in the future. And let me tell you, my friends, there is no shame in failure. In fact, failure is a necessary part of the journey towards success. As long as you learn from your failures, you are one step closer to achieving your goals. Moreover, it's essential to have a growth mindset. This means believing that your abilities and intelligence can be developed through hard work and dedication. With a growth mindset, you see failures as temporary setbacks that can be overcome with effort and perseverance. On the other hand, a fixed mindset sees failures as a reflection of one's abilities and intelligence. This mindset can hold you back from learning from your failures and reaching your full potential. So, my friends, I urge you to cultivate a growth mindset and see failures as opportunities for growth and improvement. Another important aspect of learning from failures is to surround yourself with the right people. The people you surround yourself with can have a significant impact on your mindset and your approach towards failures. Surround yourself with people who believe in you, support you, and motivate you to keep going, even when things get tough. These are the people who will help you learn from your failures and become a better version of yourself. And lastly, I want to remind you that success is not a destination, it's a journey. And failures and setbacks are a part of that journey. So don't let them discourage you or make you give up on your dreams. Instead, use them as stepping stones towards your ultimate goal. Learning from failures and setbacks is a crucial step towards brainwashing yourself for success, 
which leads us to the number four way to brainwash yourself to success. Take action and overcome fear. You see, my friends, success is not a destination, it is a journey. And the first step on this journey is to take action. You can have all the knowledge and information in the world, but if you don't take action, it's all for naught. Action is what turns dreams into reality, and it is the key to achieving success. But here's the thing, taking action can be scary. It requires us to step out of our comfort zone and face our fears. And that is why so many people fail to take action and remain stuck in mediocrity. But let me tell you, fear is nothing but a figment of our imagination. It is a mental construct that we create, and it has no power over us unless we allow it to. Think about it. What's the worst that could happen if you take action towards your goals? You might fail. So what? Failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of the journey towards success. Every successful person has failed at some point in their life. But they didn't let it stop them. They learned from their failures and used them as stepping stones to reach their goals. So, my friends, I urge you to take action despite your fears. Don't let fear hold you back from living the life you deserve. Take that first step, and the rest will fall into place. And remember, the only way to overcome fear is to face it head on. So the next time you feel afraid, ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen? And then take action anyway. But taking action is not enough. We must also have a plan of action, a roadmap that will guide us towards our goals. Without a plan, we are like a ship without a rudder, drifting aimlessly in the sea of life. So, my friends, I encourage you to sit down and create a plan for your life. Set clear, specific goals and break them down into actionable steps. And then, take consistent action towards your goals every single day. But here's the thing, taking action and having a plan is not enough if we don't have the right mindset. And that brings me to the fifth way to brainwash yourself to success, cultivating a success mindset. You see, my friends, success is not just about what we do, it's also about who we are, and who we are is determined by our thoughts, beliefs, and habits. If we want to achieve success, we must first believe that we are capable of it. We must believe that we are worthy and deserving of success. We must believe that we have what it takes to overcome any obstacle and achieve our goals. And this belief must be so strong that it becomes a part of our identity. But here's the thing. Our beliefs are not set in stone. We have the power to change them if they are not serving us. So if you have limiting beliefs that are holding you back, it's time to let go of them and replace them with empowering beliefs that will propel you towards success. And remember, our thoughts become our beliefs. Our beliefs become our actions, and our actions become our reality. So choose your thoughts carefully, my friends. In addition to beliefs, our habits also play a crucial role in our success. As Aristotle famously said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act but a habit. So if we want to achieve success, we must cultivate habits that support our goals. This means being disciplined, consistent, and focused in our actions. It means being willing to do what others are not so we can have what others do not. Which leads us to the number three way to brainwash yourself to success. Practice positive affirmations. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly are positive affirmations? Well, let me tell you. They are powerful statements that can transform your thoughts and beliefs. They are words that you speak to yourself about yourself, and they have the power to shape your reality. You see, our thoughts and beliefs are like seeds that we plant in our minds. And just like any seed, they have the potential to grow into something magnificent or something destructive. It all depends on what we choose to water and nurture. If we constantly feed our minds with negative thoughts and beliefs, then we will only reap negativity in our lives. But if we choose to plant positive thoughts and beliefs, then we will see positivity blossom in our lives. So how do we practice positive affirmations? It's simple. We speak them to ourselves every day with conviction and belief. We tell ourselves things like, I am capable, I am worthy, I am successful, I am loved, and I am enough. But here's the thing, my friends. 
It's not just about saying these words. It's about truly believing them. You see, our minds are like a sponge. They absorb everything we tell them. And if we keep telling ourselves positive things, eventually, our minds will start to believe them and act accordingly. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't believe those things about myself. How can I possibly say them with conviction? And to that, I say, practice makes perfect. Just like any skill, positive affirmations require practice and consistency. Think about it. When you first learned to ride a bike, you probably fell a few times. But did you give up? No, you kept practicing until you were able to ride without falling. The same goes for positive affirmations. At first, it may feel uncomfortable or even silly to say these things to yourself. But with practice, it will become second nature. And let me tell you, my friends, the results are worth it. When you start to believe in yourself and your abilities, you will see a shift in your mindset. You will start to take action towards your goals and dreams because you believe that you can achieve them. But positive affirmations are not just about achieving success in your career or finances. They also have a tremendous impact on your overall well-being. When you practice positive affirmations, you are nurturing your self-esteem and self-worth. You are reminding yourself that you are enough just as you are. And this is crucial because in today's society, we are bombarded with messages that tell us we are not good enough. We are constantly comparing ourselves to others, and this can lead to feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt. But when we practice positive affirmations, we are building a shield against these negative messages. We are strengthening our minds and our sense of self-worth. Now, I want to share with you a personal story about the power of positive affirmations. When I was just starting out in my career, I had a lot of self-doubt and fear. I was constantly comparing myself to others and feeling like I wasn't good enough. But then I started to practice positive affirmations. Every morning, I would look in the mirror and say to myself, I am capable. I am worthy. I am successful. And slowly but surely, I started to believe it. And you know what happened? I started to take action towards my goals. I started to believe in myself and my abilities. And eventually, I achieved success beyond my wildest dreams. And it all started with those simple positive affirmations. Which leads us to the number two way to brainwash yourself to success. Surround yourself with positive influences. It is said that we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. Think about that for a moment. Are the people you are spending your time with lifting you up or bringing you down? Are they encouraging you to reach for your dreams, or are they holding you back? Are they positive influences or negative influences? You see, my friends, we are easily influenced by the people around us. And if we surround ourselves with negative, toxic, and pessimistic individuals, it is only a matter of time before we start to adopt their mindset and beliefs. On the other hand, if we surround ourselves with positive, supportive, and ambitious individuals, we will be inspired to reach for our own greatness. But it's not just about the people we physically surround ourselves with. It's also about the media we consume. The books we read, the music we listen to, and the shows we watch all have a powerful impact on our thoughts and beliefs. If we constantly fill our minds with negativity, violence, and drama, it is no surprise that our lives will reflect the same. But if we choose to consume positive, uplifting, and motivational content, our thoughts and actions will align with that positivity. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking. How can I control the people around me or the media that is constantly bombarding us? And to that, I say, you have more control than you think. You have the power to choose who you spend your time with, what you read, listen to, and watch. You have the power to create a positive environment for yourself. Surrounding yourself with positive influences is not about cutting people out of your life or living in a bubble. It's about being intentional with who and what you allow into your life. It's about setting boundaries and choosing to spend your time with people who uplift and inspire you. It's about being mindful of the content you consume and making a conscious effort to fill your mind with positivity. But let me warn you, my friends, this will not be an easy task. It takes courage and determination to surround yourself with positive influences. 
It means letting go of toxic relationships and habits that no longer serve you. It means being selective with the media you consume and being aware of its impact on your thoughts and beliefs. It means taking responsibility for your own happiness and success. But I promise you, the rewards of surrounding yourself with positive influences are immeasurable. When you surround yourself with people who believe in you, who push you to be your best self, and who support your dreams, you will start to believe in yourself more. When you consume content that inspires and motivates you, you will start to see opportunities and possibilities where you once saw obstacles. When you create a positive environment for yourself, you will attract more positivity into your life. So, my friends, I urge you to take a good look at the people you surround yourself with and the media you consume. Are they lifting you up or bringing you down? Are they helping you grow or are they holding you back? Are they positive influences or negative influences? And if you find that some changes need to be made, have the courage to make them. Surround yourself with people who have achieved the success you desire. Read books written by successful individuals. Listen to podcasts and watch videos that inspire and motivate you. Create a vision board filled with your dreams and goals. And most importantly, believe in yourself and your ability to achieve greatness. Which leads us to the number one way to brainwash yourself to success. Set clear goals and visualize success. You see, success is not something that happens by chance. It is not a stroke of luck or a random occurrence. Success is a result of deliberate actions and choices. And the first step towards achieving success is to set clear goals. You cannot hit a target if you don't even know what you're aiming for. So the first question you need to ask yourself is, what do I want to achieve? Setting clear goals is like creating a roadmap for your life. It gives you a sense of direction and purpose. Without goals, you will wander aimlessly and you will never reach your destination. And let me tell you, my friends, success is not a destination, it is a journey. It is a continuous process of growth and improvement. And setting clear goals is the first step towards that journey. Now, when I say clear goals, I mean specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goals. Don't just say, I want to be successful. That is too vague. Be specific about what you want to achieve. Is it a certain amount of income? Is it a particular position in your career? Is it a specific level of physical fitness? Whatever it may be, be specific about it. Next, your goals should be measurable. You should be able to track your progress and see how far you have come. This will not only keep you motivated, but it will also help you make necessary adjustments to your actions if you're not making progress. Your goals should also be achievable. Now, I'm not saying you should limit yourself or aim for mediocrity, but your goals should be realistic and within your capabilities. If you set goals that are too far-fetched, you will only end up feeling discouraged and demotivated. Furthermore, your goals should be relevant to your overall vision and purpose. Ask yourself, why do I want to achieve this? How does it align with my values and beliefs? If your goals are not relevant to your purpose, you will lack the motivation to pursue them. And lastly, your goals should be time-bound. This means you should have a deadline for achieving them. This will create a sense of urgency and push you to take action. Without a deadline, your goals will just be a wish, a dream that never materializes. So now that you have set clear goals, the next step is to visualize success. Visualization is a powerful tool that can help you achieve your goals. It is the process of creating a mental image of what you want to achieve. When you visualize success, you are programming your mind to believe that it is possible. And when your mind believes something is possible, it will find a way to make it happen. Visualization is like creating a blueprint for your goals. Just like an architect creates a blueprint before building a house, you need to create a mental blueprint of your goals. This will help you stay focused and motivated even when faced with challenges and obstacles. You see, our minds are powerful tools, and they can either work for us or against us. If we constantly feed our minds with negative thoughts and doubts, then we will never be able to achieve our goals. But if we train our minds to think positively and visualize success, then there is nothing that can stop us from achieving our dreams. 
Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but Jim, I have tried visualizing, and it doesn't work for me. Well, let me tell you, my friends, visualization is not a one-time thing. It is a daily practice. Just like you brush your teeth every day to keep them clean, you need to visualize your goals every day to keep them alive in your mind. And I'm not just talking about visualizing success in your mind, I'm talking about feeling it in your heart. You need to feel the emotions of achieving your goals. How would it feel to finally reach that level of success? How would it feel to accomplish your dreams? When you can feel it, you can make it a reality. Now, I want to share a personal experience with you all. When I was starting my career, I had a clear goal of becoming a successful entrepreneur and speaker. And every day, I would visualize myself standing on a stage, inspiring thousands of people and living a life of abundance. And let me tell you, my friends, that vision became a reality. I am standing here today, living my dream, because I never stopped visualizing success. So, my friends, I urge you to set clear goals and visualize success every day. Make it a part of your daily routine. And I promise you, if you do this consistently, you will see your life transform in ways you never thought possible. In closing, I want to leave you with this quote by the great Zig Ziglar. If you aim at nothing, you will hit it every time. So set clear goals, visualize success, and let the brainwashing begin. Thank you.